In this video, we're going to solve by square roots. You guys just completed activity to radical ideas. And so now I'm going to show you how to solve. So if you guys have been figuring out that roots are the same thing as solutions, which are the same thing as x-intercepts, sometimes they'll ask you for the roots, solutions, x-intercepts, they're all the same thing. Okay, so here we have, what are the solutions? And we have x squared equals 36. <clears throat> so solving using square roots is like completing the square. If you notice, these are this problem is already set up. So all we have to do to solve this is to find the square root of each side. So I find the square root of x squared on this side, I find the square root of 36 on this side, and the square root of x squared is x, because x times x is x squared, and the square root of 36 is a positive 6 and a negative 6, because 6 times 6 equals 36, and negative 6 times negative 6 equals 36. So you have to include both roots. Now, when you're entering your answer into the computer, it's going to say enter answers where the first number is greater than the second number. So we have our answers are positive and negative 6. Of course, positive 6 is greater than negative 6. So I put that first, and then negative 6 goes second. We look at number 2. In order to solve this, we have to move the 9 to the other side. So if I add 9 to both sides, we now have x plus 4 squared equals 9. And now all we have to do is find the square root of each side. So in this case, we find the square root of this side and the square root of this side. So the square root of x plus 4 squared, of course, is just x plus 4. And then we have the square root of 9. We know that's a positive 3 and a negative 3. So when we solve this, we have to solve it when the 3 is positive and when the 3 is negative. So we have x plus 4 equals positive 3, and x plus 4 equals negative 3. So to get x by itself on the first one, we have to subtract 4 from both sides. So we have x equals negative 1. And then we're doing the same thing to this one. We have to subtract 4 on both sides. But this time we have negative 3 minus 4, which is negative 7. And remember, the computer says when we put the answers in, the larger number has to go first. So of course, negative 1 is larger than negative 7. OK? Now, the last one, it says to solve the quadratic equation. So in order to solve this, first of all, we need to make sure that this is in the correct form. So the correct form is ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to move the 12x to the other side. So now in the proper form, it'll be x squared. We can't add these two together because this has an x that doesn't. So we just bring on the 12x plus 36. And now these cancel out. We just have 0. And when I look at this, I notice that this is what we called, remember, a perfect square trinomial. So if it's a perfect square trinomial, you can factor this quickly. But to know if it's a perfect square trinomial, you have to remember these two things. So we're going to remember that b equals 2 times the square root of c. You guys remember that? And c equals b over 2 squared. So let's check. In this case, our a value is 1. Our b is 12, and our c is 36. All right, so if this is a perfect square trinomial, that means in order to get b, which is 12, we had to do 2 times the square root of c. So let's see if that's true. So in this case, b is 12 equals 2 times the square root of c is 36. 12 equals 2 times 6. Does 12 equal 12? Yes. So it passes that check. Now we have to see if we got the C by doing B over 2 squared. So C in this case is 36. To get that, did we do 12 
which is the B, divided by 2 squared. Well, let's see. 36 equals 6 squared. So does 36 equal 36? Yes, it checks. So when it's a perfect squared trinomial, now that we know it has those two checks, in order to factor this, all we have to do is find the square root of the first term. So the square root of x squared is just x. We use the sign of the b. And then the square root of 36 is 6. So we've already factored it. So now what we have to do is solve it. So to solve it, we're going to follow the same steps that we did in the problems above. We have to find the square root of each side. So in this case, we have x plus 6 squared. So that square root of that is just x plus 6 equals, and the square root of 0 is just 0. You can't have a positive and negative 0. 0 is just 0. So in order to solve this, we minus 6. So x equals negative 6. Now, if you notice in the answer, it says to put the answers in order from biggest to largest. But in this case, we only have one answer. It's just negative 6. And the other answer is also negative 6. So that's how you solve using square roots. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me or to join in our Zoom session that we have. Thank you.